A calorimeter is an object used for calorimetry, or the process of measuring the heat of chemical reactions or physical changes as well as heat capacity. Differential scanning calorimeters, isothermal microcalorimeters, titration calorimeters and accelerated rate calorimeters are among the most common types. A simple calorimeter just consists of a thermometer attached to a metal container full of water suspended above a combustion chamber. It is one of the measurement devices used in the study of thermodynamics, chemistry, and biochemistry. To find the enthalpy change per mole of a substance in a reaction between two substances A and B, the substances are separately added to a calorimeter and the initial and final temperatures before the reaction has started and after it has finished are noted. Multiplying the temperature change by the mass and specific heat capacities of the substances gives a value for the energy given off or absorbed during the reaction. Dividing the energy change by how many moles of A were present gives its enthalpy change of reaction Q equals C V T F minus T I display style Q equals C underscore V T underscore F T underscore I where Q is the amount of heat according to the change in temperature measured in joules and CV is the heat capacity of the calorimeter which is a value associated with each individual apparatus in units of energy per temperature joules, Kelvin. History In 1761 Joseph Black introduced the idea of latent heat which lead to creation of the first ice calorimeters. In 1780, Antoine Lavoisier used the heat from the guinea pig's respiration to melt snow surrounding his apparatus, showing that respiratory gas exchange is combustion, similar to a candle burning. Lavoisier dubbed this apparatus the calorimeter, based on both Greek and Latin roots. One of the first ice calorimeters was used in the winter of 1782 by Lavoisier and Pierre Simon Laplace, which relied on the heat required to melt ice to water to measure the heat released from chemical reactions. <laughs> Adiabatic calorimeters An adiabatic calorimeter is a calorimeter used to examine a runaway reaction. Since the calorimeter runs in an adiabatic environment, any heat generated by the material sample under test causes the sample to increase in temperature, thus fueling the reaction. No adiabatic calorimeter is fully adiabatic, some heat will be lost by the sample to the sample holder. A mathematical correction factor, known as the phi factor, can be used to adjust the calorimetric result to account for these heat losses. The phi factor is the ratio of the thermal mass of the sample and sample holder to the thermal mass of the sample alone. Topic: <reaction>, Reaction calorimeters. A reaction calorimeter is a calorimeter in which a chemical reaction is initiated within a closed insulated container. Reaction heats are measured and the total heat is obtained by integrating heat flow versus time. This is the standard used in industry to measure heats since industrial processes are engineered to run at constant temperatures. Reaction calorimetry can also be used to determine maximum heat release rate for chemical process engineering and for tracking the global kinetics of reactions. There are four main methods for measuring the heat in reaction calorimeter. Topic: Heat flow calorimeter. The cooling heating jacket controls either the temperature of the process or the temperature of the jacket. Heat is measured by monitoring the temperature difference between heat transfer fluid and the process fluid. In addition, fill volumes, i.e., wetted area, specific heat, heat transfer coefficient have to be determined to arrive at a correct value. It is possible with this type of calorimeter to do reactions at reflux, although it is very less accurate. Heat balance calorimeter 
The cooling, heating jacket controls the temperature of the process. Heat is measured by monitoring the heat gained or lost by the heat transfer fluid. Topic: <laughs> Power compensation. Power compensation uses a heater placed within the vessel to maintain a constant temperature. The energy supplied to this heater can be varied as reactions require and the calorimetry signal is purely derived from this electrical power. Topic: <laughs> Constant flux. Constant flux calorimetry or COFLUX as it is often termed is derived from heat balance calorimetry and uses specialized control mechanisms to maintain a constant heat flow or flux across the vessel wall. Topic: <laughs> Bomb calorimeters. A bomb calorimeter is a type of constant volume calorimeter used in measuring the heat of combustion of a particular reaction. Bomb calorimeters have to withstand the large pressure within the calorimeter as the reaction is being measured. Electrical energy is used to ignite the fuel, as the fuel is burning, it will heat up the surrounding air, which expands and escapes through a tube that leads the air out of the calorimeter. When the air is escaping through the copper tube it will also heat up the water outside the tube. The change in temperature of the water allows for calculating calorie content of the fuel. In more recent calorimeter designs, the whole bomb, pressurized with excess pure oxygen typically at 30 atmospheres and containing a weighed mass of a sample typically 1 to 1 grams and a small fixed amount of water to saturate the internal atmosphere, thus ensuring that all water produced is liquid, and removing the need to include enthalpy of vaporization in calculations, is submerged under a known volume of water ca. 2000 milliliters before the charge is electrically ignited the bomb with the known mass of the sample and oxygen form a closed system no gases escape during the reaction the weighed reactant put inside the steel container is then ignited energy is released by the combustion and heat flow from this crosses the stainless steel wall thus raising the temperature of the steel bomb its contents and the surrounding water jacket the temperature change in the water is then accurately measured with a thermometer. This reading, along with a bomb factor which is dependent on the heat capacity of the metal bomb parts, is used to calculate the energy given out by the sample burn. A small correction is made to account for the electrical energy input, the burning fuse, and acid production by titration of the residual liquid. After the temperature rise has been measured, the excess pressure in the bomb is released. Basically, a bomb calorimeter consists of a small cup to contain the sample, oxygen, a stainless steel bomb, water, a stirrer, a thermometer, the dewer or insulating container to prevent heat flow from the calorimeter to the surroundings and ignition circuit connected to the bomb. By using stainless steel for the bomb, the reaction will occur with no volume change observed. Since there is no heat exchange between the calorimeter and surroundings Q equals zero adiabatic, no work is performed w equals zero. Thus, the total internal energy change delta E T O T A L equals Q plus W equals zero. Display style delta e underscore total equals q plus w equals zero. Also, total internal energy change delta e t o t a l equals delta e s y s t e M plus delta E S U R R O U N D I N G S equals zero 
Display style delta E underscore total equals delta E underscore system plus delta E underscore surroundings equals zero delta E S Y S T E M equals minus delta E S U R R O U N D I N G S equals minus C V Delta T Display style delta E underscore system equals delta E underscore surroundings equals C underscore V delta T constant volume D V equals zero Display style mathram D V equals zero where C V Display style C underscore V is heat capacity of the bomb before the bomb can be used to determine heat of combustion of any compound it must be calibrated the value of c v display style c underscore v can be estimated by c v calorimeter equals m water c v water plus m steel c v steel display style c underscore v text calorimeter equals m underscore text water c d o t c underscore v text water plus m underscore text steel c d o t c underscore v text steel m water display style m underscore text water and M steel display style M underscore text steel can be measured C V water equals one Cal G minus one K minus one Display style C underscore V text water equals one text cal G carrot minus one text K carrot minus one C V steel equals zero point one Cal G minus one K minus one Display style C underscore V text steel equals zero. One text cal G carrot minus one text K carrot minus one. In the laboratory C V Display style C underscore V is determined by running a compound with known heat of combustion value C V equals H C Delta T display style C underscore V equals H underscore C over delta T. Common compounds are benzoic acid H C equals six thousand three hundred and eighteen cal per gram. Display style H underscore C equals six thousand three hundred and eighteen text cal per gram or p methyl benzoic acid. H C equals six thousand nine hundred and fifty seven Cal per gram Display style H underscore C equals six thousand nine hundred and fifty seven text Cal per gram. Temperature T is recorded every minute and Delta T equals T final minus T Initial display style delta t equals t underscore text final t underscore text initial 
A small factor contributes to the correction of the total heat of combustion is the fuse wire. Nickel fuse wire is often used and has heat of combustion equals 981.2 cal per gram. In order to calibrate the bomb, a small amount approximately 1 gram of benzoic acid, or p-methyl benzoic acid is weighed. A length of nickel fuse wire approximately 10 centimeters is weighed both before and after the combustion process. Mass of fuse wire burned Delta M equals M before minus M after Display style delta M equals M underscore text before M underscore text after the combustion of sample benzoic acid inside the bomb Delta H C equals Delta H C benzoic acid times M benzoic acid plus Delta H C knee fuse wire times Delta M knee fuse wire Display style delta H underscore C equals delta H underscore C C E benzoic acid times M underscore C E benzoic acid plus delta H underscore C C E knee fuse wire times delta M underscore C E knee fuse wire delta H C equals C V delta T C V equals Delta H C Delta T Display style Delta H underscore C equals C underscore V C D O T Delta T right arrow C underscore V equals Delta H underscore C over Delta T once C V Display style C underscore V value of the bomb is determined. The bomb is ready to use to calculate heat of combustion of any compounds by delta H C equals C V delta T display style delta H underscore C equals C underscore V C D O T delta T Topic: Combustion of non-flammables. The higher pressure and concentration of O2 in the bomb system can render combustible some compounds that are not normally flammable. Some substances don't combust completely, making the calculations harder as the remaining mass has to be taken into consideration, making the possible error considerably larger and compromising the data. When working with compounds that are not as flammable that might not combust completely one solution would be to mix the compound with some flammable compounds with a known heat of combustion and make a pallet with the mixture. Once the CV of the bomb is known, the heat of combustion of the flammable compound CFC, of the wire CW, and the masses MFC and, MW, and the temperature change delta T, the heat of combustion of the less flammable compound CLFC, can be calculated with CLFC equals CV delta T CFC asterisk MFC CW asterisk MW equals topic Calvert type calorimeters equals the detection is based on a three-dimensional flux meter sensor. The flux meter element consists of a ring of several thermocouples in series. The corresponding thermopile of high thermal conductivity surrounds the experimental space within the calorimetric block. The radial arrangement of the thermopiles guarantees an almost complete integration of the heat. This is verified by the calculation of the efficiency ratio that indicates that an average value of 94% plus or minus 1% of heat is transmitted through the sensor on the full range of temperature of the Calvert-type calorimeter. 
In this setup, the sensitivity of the calorimeter is not affected by the crucible, the type of pergagas, or the flow rate. The main advantage of the setup is the increase of the experimental vessel's size and consequently the size of the sample, without affecting the accuracy of the calorimetric measurement. The calibration of the calorimetric detectors is a key parameter and has to be performed very carefully. For calvet-type calorimeters, a specific calibration, so-called dual effect or electrical calibration, has been developed to overcome all the problems encountered by a calibration done with standard materials. The main advantages of this type of calibration are as follows. It is an absolute calibration. The use of standard materials for calibration is not necessary. The calibration can be performed at a constant temperature, in the heating mode and in the cooling mode. It can be applied to any experimental vessel volume. It is a very accurate calibration. An example of calvert type calorimeter is the C80 calorimeter, reaction, isothermal and scanning calorimeter. Topic: <laughs> Constant pressure calorimeter. A constant pressure calorimeter measures the change in enthalpy of a reaction occurring in solution during which the atmospheric pressure remains constant. An example is a coffee cup calorimeter, which is constructed from two nested styrofoam cups and a lid with two holes, allowing insertion of a thermometer and a stirring rod. The inner cup holds a known amount of a solvent, usually water, that absorbs the heat from the reaction. When the reaction occurs, the outer cup provides insulation. Then C P equals W delta H M delta T display style C underscore P equals frac W delta H M delta T where C P display style C underscore P equals specific heat at constant pressure delta H display style delta H equals enthalpy of solution delta t display style delta t equals change in temperature w display style w equals mass of solvent m display style m equals molecular mass of solvent the measurement of heat using a simple calorimeter like the coffee cup calorimeter is an example of constant pressure calorimetry since the pressure atmospheric pressure remains constant during the process constant pressure calorimetry is used in determining the changes in enthalpy occurring in solution under these conditions the change in enthalpy equals the heat equals topic differential scanning calorimeter equals in a differential scanning calorimeter dsc heat flow into a sample usually contained in a small aluminum capsule or pan is measured differentially ie by comparing it to the flow into an empty reference pan in a heat flux DSC, both pans sit on a small slab of material with a known calibrated heat resistance K. The temperature of the calorimeter is raised linearly with time scanned, i.e., the heating rate dt, dt equals beta is kept constant. This time linearity requires good design and good computerized temperature control. Of course, controlled cooling and isothermal experiments are also possible. Heat flows into the two pans by conduction. The flow of heat into the sample is larger because of its heat capacity Cp. The difference in flow dq, dt induces a small temperature difference delta T across the slab. This temperature difference is measured using a thermocouple. The heat capacity can in principle be determined from this signal delta T equals K D Q D T equals K C P beta display style delta T equals K D Q over D T equals K C underscore P beta. 
Note that this formula equivalent to Newton's law of heat flow is analogous to, and much older than, Ohm's law of electric flow Delta V R D Q D T R I when suddenly heat is absorbed by the sample e.g., when the sample melts, the signal will respond and exhibit a peak d q d t equals c p beta plus f t t Display style dq over dt equals c underscore p beta plus f t t. From the integral of this peak, the enthalpy of melting can be determined, and from its onset, the melting temperature. Differential scanning calorimetry is a workhorse technique in many fields, particularly in polymer characterization. A modulated temperature differential scanning calorimeter MTDSC is a type of DSC in which a small oscillation is imposed upon the otherwise linear heating rate. This has a number of advantages. It facilitates the direct measurement of the heat capacity in one measurement, even in quasi isothermal conditions. It permits the simultaneous measurement of heat effects that respond to a changing heating rate reversing and that don't respond to the changing heating rate non -reversing. It allows for the optimization of both sensitivity and resolution in a single test by allowing for a slow average heating rate optimizing resolution and a fast changing heating rate optimizing sensitivity. Safety screening, DSC may also be used as an initial safety screening tool. In this mode the sample will be housed in a non-reactive crucible often gold, or gold-plated steel, and which will be able to withstand pressure typically up to 100 bars. The presence of an exothermic event can then be used to assess the stability of a substance to heat. However, due to a combination of relatively poor sensitivity, slower than normal scan rates typically 2 to 3 degrees per minute due to much heavier crucible and unknown activation energy, it is necessary to deduct about 75 to 100 degrees Celsius from the initial start of the observed exotherm to suggest a maximum temperature for the material. A much more accurate data set can be obtained from an adiabatic calorimeter, but such a test may take two to three days from ambient at a rate of 3 degrees Celsius increment per half hour. <laughs> Isothermal titration calorimeter In an isothermal titration calorimeter, the heat of reaction is used to follow a titration experiment. This permits determination of the midpoint stoichiometry N of a reaction as well as its enthalpy delta H, entropy delta S, and of primary concern the binding affinity car. The technique is gaining in importance particularly in the field of biochemistry, because it facilitates determination of substrate binding to enzymes. The technique is commonly used in the pharmaceutical industry to characterize potential drug candidates. Topic. See also Enthalpy Heat Calorie Heat of combustion Calorimeter constant Reaction calorimeter Calorimeter particle physics <laughs>